Good morning and welcome to Christians Aren't Sheep, a beginner's guide to meditation. <laughs> My name is Ron, I'm the host of this show, and this is a channel you just don't need to subscribe to, you don't have to hit the like button, and I definitely won't ask you for any money. It's just a cool place to come and hang out, calm the mind, settle the body and mind, get a little devotional time in, give you something to meditate on when you're doing your exercise routine or your stretching routine. I just finished my uh, one hour on my exercise equipment, the weight machine, the tread climber, and the bicycle. And today is Saturday, normally a weigh-in day, but because we were traveling home on Monday from Idaho, I didn't start my first fasting day until Tuesday, so Today is my third fasting day of the week, so tomorrow will be a weigh-in day. And, uh, I've been seriously exercising, so we'll see if that makes a difference on the uh, on the weight loss and the gut loss program. So, yeah, yeah. Again, I uh, read today's devotional before I did my hour of exercise, and I'm finding it quite helpful to do a little devotional first and then exercise and stretching routine. It uh, makes the time go quicker because you're thinking about what you read. And today's devotional is just superb. So let's get right into it. It's from Proverbs, the very beginning of Proverbs. Chapter 1. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance. By exploring the meaning of these proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. That is a super powerful reading. One that deserves much meditation. And keeping in mind the reason for the name of my channel is Isaiah 40 verse 31. All those who wait upon, upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And from our daily bread for Saturday, January 20th, Love of Learning. When asked how he became a journalist, 
a man shared the story of his mother's dedication to his pursuit of education. While traveling on the subway each day, she collected newspapers left behind on seats and gave them to him. While he especially enjoyed reading about sports, the papers also introduced him to knowledge about the world, which ultimately opened his mind to a vast range of interests. Children are wired with natural curiosity and a love for learning. So introducing them to the scriptures at an early age is of great value. They become intrigued by God's extraordinary promises and exciting stories of biblical heroes. As their knowledge deepens, they can begin to comprehend the consequences of sin, their need of repentance, and the joy found in trusting God. The first chapter of Proverbs, for instance, is a great introduction to the benefits of wisdom. Nuggets of wisdom found here shine a light of understanding on real life situations. Developing a love of learning, especially about spiritual truths, helps us to grow stronger in our faith. And those who have walked in faith for decades can continue to pursue knowledge of God throughout their life. Proverbs 1 verse 5 advises, let the wise listen and add to their learning. God will never stop teaching us if we're willing to open our heart and mind to his guidance and instruction. Father, please continue to open my mind and heart to grow in knowledge and wisdom as I read from the scriptures. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And, yeah. I'm also reminded of just a week ago, my grandson and I were shoveling some snow off of the deck down in Idaho. And he was attempting to push the whole length of the deck <laughs> with the scraper shovel. And it was, like I said, a heavy snow. And he was struggling. <laughs> For a nine-year-old, I was impressed. He got a long ways with it. So I tried to show him, give him a little bit of wisdom uh, to start closer to the end of the deck, shovel a few feet, and then work back and just keep going to make it easier. <laughs> he shrugged his shoulders and just kept doing it the way he was doing it. <laughs> How often are we like that with God? He tries to give us some wisdom and we just shrug our shoulders and keep doing it our way <laughs> we're as smart as a child some days aren't we okay enjoy your uh, workout get some meditation time in god willing we'll see you tomorrow